It's a common question of what chemicals should or could I use in my house if I live on a septic system. And the bad news is for most people, I don't recommend any. And that's not real, we know that. We need to figure out what chemicals some people want to or need to use. There are three distinct um, identifications on chemicals sold in the state of Washington. Specifically, warning, danger, and caution. If you live on an on-site septic system, we believe that anything that says danger should not be being used. So if it has crossbones and skulls on it and things that, that are dangerous, do not use them in an on-site septic system. Now if it says warning, I would recommend that you don't use them, but we know that people have chemicals like that in their household. So if you take some of the different things that you have, you might look and see what are they. If it says caution, we have those and they're generally a cleaning product. And I would recommend anytime we can, do not flush them down the toilets or the sinks or put them in places that might end up down the drain in the septic system. So why don't we use any of these chemicals or why do we recommend not to use these chemicals? Your septic system is a biological system and it functions based on how the bacterium, the bugs, work in the tank. And if we put those things in there on a regular basis, that bacterium is disrupted and mother nature is basically being killed off from doing her job. So we want to minimize what we put into the septic system to kill off the bacterium or the bugs that are in there so that it keeps it functioning in the way that it should.